Today, you're gonna to learn how to use the new Angular console. Hey everyone, Gary Simon of CourseCentral.com. So today we're gonna to do a real quick video. I'm gonna show you about a new tool that I uh, just released to uh, 1.0, I believe, called the Angular Console. And it's just a visual way of creating and managing your Angular projects. And so there's the same thing exists for Vue. There's a visual CLI that I covered uh, several months ago, and it's really cool. Uh, it's a great visual way of being able to, like I said, install and manage projects as opposed to like simply working within a console or command line. All right, so it's at angularconsole.com. This is what we're going to, uh, I'm gonna show you how to use it and all that stuff, and we'll do a quick run through. And for today's question, do you like using console commands or do you like the visual UIs, like something like this or the, the view alternative for managing and creating projects? Let me know. I'll let you know in uh, my, my personal answer in the first comment. Make sure you subscribe here and let's get started. All right, so head on over to angularconsole.com and to download it, you come down here and depending on your OS, just click one of these links right here. All right, it looks like it's uh, these are wrapped in a, an electron. Uh, these are made with electron. After you install it, uh, you'll see um, it, here it is right here, ready to go. And so, um, all right, so first, you're, if you already had a project that's created, it's gonna show up here in the recent project section. So you can just click it and hop into that project to begin managing it. Um, the obvious place that we're gonna start first is to create a workspace. Workspace is just another uh, term for an actual Angular project. All right, so the next thing you have to do is select a parent directory. All right, so uh, remember a parent directory, this would be like your code folder or wherever you store all of your projects. So I'm gonna do that real quick. All right, so I'm gonna choose that. And then a name for this new project. I'll just do ANG CLI demo. All right, and then choose which schematics you would like to use. Just going to choose the default Angular CLI workspace and then create. So this is what it uh, generated the the command that it's going to run based on the options that you chose, and that's kind of how uh, these tools work. Same thing with Vue, the Vue uh, CLI as well, the the Visual C CLI that it uses. All right, and so now it is ready to run. So we have some quick options up here. You can see we have serve, test, build, generate a component, uh, all pretty standard stuff. So if I just hit serve, uh, the way this works is you, uh, at the top, of course, you can cho choose whether or not you wanna do in default dev mode or production mode. Um, you can also choose for important fields. We can see we have two uh, collapsible areas. The important fields are, you know, whether or not you wanna rebuild on file changes, the default is true, thus it's turned on. And then uh, building using ahead of time compilation, you can make that true or false as well. And then optional fields, these are all the other flags that you would possibly normal, normally pass in. For instance, if you want the browser to open up, we'll just toggle this on. That's the same thing just, it, as being in using the regular CLI in the command line or your console and just specifying hyphen hyphen open. So it's just a visual way, of course, of con, uh, setting up your configuration options for the various tasks that you wanna run with the Angular CLI. So if I hit run, Let's see, this is just a command that it's gonna you know, specify based on what we chose in this visual user interface. And because we chose uh, the open flag, it should automatically open up our default browser. And here we are. All right, so let's check out some other areas of this. I'm gonna hit cancel here, get out of here. And we can see right here, we have our uh, the projects here. Again, you can run these, you can uh, generate a real quick component. You could also come down here where it says uh, generate code. All right, so if you want to generate, you know, these are all the different types of uh, things that you can generate based on the ng generate command. Uh, gen you know, if you want to add a service worker, you know, a pipe, a service, all this stuff, very simple. And of course, uh, the way these works, very simple. Most of these uh, these generate uh, options allow you to specify a name for them, be that a service name or a pipe or whatever. Um, you choose the project, and then you have your optional fields down here. All right, and then next we have run tasks. All right, so it will, I. Uh, well, you can do filter up here. I didn't see that before, um, but if you wanted to build out the project, 
You want to build it for production, for instance. Again, you have all of your typical options here. And then finally, you can also add the CLI extension. So if you wanted to uh, make your, your app a PWA, you simply click on this or you wanted to add you know, material or any one of these and you simply hit add. And there you go. So as you can see, I uh, created the uh, the ng service worker config file, the, the the manifest JSON, everything it normally would if you were to run this solely in a console. And that's basically it. I, uh, you know, some people prefer to use maybe a more visual sort of interface so they don't have to remember all the different commands. And I think that's where the potential benefit comes in uh, when it when it concerns a tool like this. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed that. If you did, make sure you subscribe and also answer today's question, which is, do you prefer things like this when it comes to visual user interfaces for managing projects, or do you like to stick with console commands? Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you guys real soon. Goodbye.